Black men tell me with each negative case involving black men and police, old and new wounds are opened. Sometimes as a black man, it's almost like an achievement to just make it home when you're dealing with a situation with a police officer. Kareem Emin, Damian Poole, and Khalil Ismail are educators and artists. They say the events of the last few weeks involving black men and police have been gut-wrenching from George Floyd to the killing of Dante Wright and the treatment of Army Lieutenant Karan Nazario during a traffic stop in Virginia. Ismail says it all takes a toll emotionally. Every time somebody stops us, we're actually thinking, is this gonna be the last time I see my family? my daughter, my wife, and what do I do? So you're planning, you're thinking about what you do in that situation. What do I do to make sure that my life is preserved? They share their own negative encounters with police. I was on the highway and our tire blew out. We got into a very serious accident and our car got wrecked. And when we got out the car, police, um, I asked them for help and they told me no. We're going to arrest you because we think you have drugs or guns. Poole says this is the reason he doesn't own a car. I thought about purchasing a car recently, and then I was like, nah, I don't know if I'm necessarily comfortable with having that be a possibility for me. So I would rather walk or ride my bike. Specifically in the United States, black men are targets. In West Baltimore, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.